everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a giant cookie in a skillet. Yes, today we'll see how to make a skillet cookie loaded with chocolate. So let's get started. To make skillet cookie, I'm using a 20 cm cast iron skillet. I'll share more information about this in the video later. Heat the skillet and add 1 4 cup plus 2 tablespoon butter. I am using salted butter because it goes very well in this recipe. Keep the flame low and melt the butter. Make sure that you do not cook or burn the butter, we just need to melt it. Once it melts, immediately transfer it to a bowl. Do not wash the skillet, keep it aside just like that. Take a bowl and add half cup plus 2 tablespoon powdered sugar. Mix till the sugar and butter is well combined. Next add 1 teaspoon vanilla essence, 1 cup all purpose flour that is maida, 2 tablespoon cornstarch, half teaspoon baking soda. You can separately mix the dry ingredients and then add to the butter and sugar mixture. Once everything is well combined, next step is to add milk. Make sure that the milk you are using is either cold or at room temperature. Next add 1.5 tablespoon of sugar. This sugar would not melt and you would get a nice crunch in your mouth when you eat the cookie and it tastes fantastic. Then add 3 4 cup roughly chopped chocolate. You may add chocolate chips if you have that. But I prefer adding bigger chocolate chunks, they taste amazing in this recipe. After mixing the cookie dough well, we need to transfer it to the skillet. To make the skillet cookie, here I've got a 20 cm cast iron skillet from Meyer brand. It's a heavy gauge skillet made from pure iron ore material that heats quickly and also promotes even heating throughout the fry pan body. This in turn saves cooking gas or electricity. It's a totally toxin free product. There's no synthetic or chemical coating on it. It's pre-seasoned with 100% vegetable oil. It can be used in OTG, on a gas stove as well as an induction cooktop. It comes with a heat resistant grip. This skillet adds an authentic Indian flavor to your food and can also be used for frying, searing and browning foods. Meyer also has pre-seasoned cast iron karhai and dosa tawa in the cast iron range. This is a 24 cm deep karhai that comes with a lid. And this is a 28 cm cast iron dosa tawa to make perfect crispy dosas that come easily off the tawa and are healthy to consume. All these cast iron cookware come with care and maintenance instructions. Buying link of my cast iron range is given in video's description box. Use my code given on the screen to get a discount of 15%. Once the cookie dough is ready, transfer it to your cast iron skillet and spread it evenly. And finally add more chopped chocolate on the top. You may add chopped chocolate or you can add chocolate chips, whatever you like. If you do not have a skillet, you can use your cake tin. In that case, it would become a cake tin cookie. And if you do not have an OTG, you can make this in your karhai or pressure cooker the way I bake cakes in my no oven recipes and cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. If using OTG, preheat it at 180 degrees Celsius with both the rods and fans on for 10 minutes and then bake this cookie for 20 to 22 minutes. Look at the beautiful skillet cookie. Be careful because the cookie would be very hot. Let it sit for some time and become at least warm. You can serve this cookie just like that or with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. If you want to store this cookie, transfer it to an airtight container and put in your refrigerator, not freezer, regular refrigerator section. It would stay good up to 2 weeks and before serving you can microwave for 20 to 25 seconds. This cookie is crispy on the edges and soft in the middle. Look at the beautiful texture and the melted chocolate. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!